from the sky But I'm not worried I know I will end up dry Hey there and welcome back to my channel, it's Lorena For those of you who are new here, welcome I am a kindergarten bilingual teacher here in the state of New Jersey and in this week's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be giving you a classroom tour of my kindergarten classroom. Now keep in mind that I have made very minor changes to my classroom um, since March 2020, which is when our kiddos were last physically in the classroom. I haven't made any changes because we are still um, in the remote learning phase of this whole situation. So there have been very minimal, minimal changes to the classroom. Now I know that many of us are not in the September kind of swing of things where we're setting up our room for you know that new group of kids but nonetheless many of us are in a transitional phase whether it's going back to in-person learning um, or if it's you're going back into a hybrid model whatever the case may be um, this video can give you some ideas as to how to set up your classroom how to make um, minor changes um, or if you're just looking kind of to freshen up your room and maybe add some things here and there hopefully you'll get some ideas from this video I also want to point out that many of the centers in my classroom are play-based. Um, the curriculum that's followed for kindergarten is very set on developmentally appropriate practices, which includes the use of play for learning. So you're going to be able to see that in some of the classroom setup that, I, that I'm going to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you get to take away some fun new ideas for your own classroom. So here we go. Alright, so this is what you see when you walk in. So here I have a tattle phone, which is great because they're um, practicing their number recognition and stuff. And then they're also tattling there. I guess you just start from here. So as soon as you come in, I have a few things for our fire routine, which we go over. Um, this is like a little chant that we say every day. Our kind of emergency bag. So I have these kind of bins here and I use it to organize those Ziploc bags, white paper goods, cleaning supplies, and then here I have more academics, so teaching materials, dry erase boards, mats, clipboards, and these are all the things that the kids can grab on their own. Typically here we have a sign-in sheet, but obviously they're not here right now. I have our focus wall here with our objectives. Um, bringing it here this way. This is also kind of like another kind of focus area So I would put the letter of the week here and these are just like IKEA frames and then these clothespins Our sight word of the week and our math skills and then typically here. I just have um, a whole bunch of books This is my chair and your new one. This one's not cozy at all our Promethean board Our books that they can grab while they're on the rug waiting for me We have our light table here just some goodies that they can do which um, goes by the season so I have our schedule and our word wall and these I just printed it on PowerPoint which looks so ugly when you put it beside print PowerPoint cut it out I don't have a Cricut but that's that this is our um, reading little nook here um, so kindergarten in my district is very play based so you're gonna see that in a minute this is kind of like our little dramatic um, play puppet theater and stuff puppets and all this stuff once the kids come back I don't know if we're gonna be able to use this um, here is our literacy center. So these are just some of the things that I have. I try to have everything labeled as best as I can. And then we have here some flexible seating options for them. And right over here, we usually put up um, thematic words on this side, but we're not, we haven't been doing that. And now these are my centers, how we organize them. Um, either what, if you want to call them daily five or word work. All right, and these are our centers. So I, it's based off of this. So. On Monday, the hippos go, would go to center one, so on and so forth. Um, and here, this is where I tell them what center they belong to. I put their pictures here. And this is how it's set up. So I use pink baskets and green baskets, and that's also how I tell them differentiate between literacy and math centers. And then, when they're done, they can get a little done tub. I just put either puzzles or cardinality things down there, and they can just grab one and do that um, as a group. So this here is our writing center the tables from Ikea and we just use these little trunks these little lakeshore trunks um, for seating so they can do this um, it's gonna be paper here once they're here words um, oh I gotta change these out and these little um, dry erase writing templates that I just put on construction paper laminated and then they can use this for writing that's our writing center 
Now, we also have a little like creation station here. So this is just an Ikea table. And I brought these off of Amazon. Um, they're not glued on here just in case I want to use the table for something else. But pretty much I've just been using a little Lego piece to kind of keep it together. Legos, all kind of building stuff. These, oh, these should not be in here. But these little people pieces are from Target's dollar spot. And I have these. I have these little um, stem cards so that they can get some inspiration on what to build. Now this is my listening center and this is just a sh uh, like a shoe shelf from Target. So we have flexible seating, we have the iPads. Um, these are from Ikea as well. They can definitely just stand something up on this. Whether it's the iPad, the headphones, I make sure to label everything as much as I can. This way they know where everything goes back. Now this is our dramatic play area. Super simple kitchen all that fun stuff right this is our science center so what I did was I put some trees here um, I got this idea from a workshop that I went to this is just background paper and this is scrapbook paper from Michaels water sand sky and then the kids can put like the animals and stuff on top of that so this is what I have in my science center so this is actually one of these tubs but I had to split it in two so the bottom half is all science center based things and then the top is math. All right, this is our math center, all the fun math and the glitters up here. These are from Target, these little um, magnet trays. So I just put some counters there, lap trays so they can work, balance beam and all that stuff, the advocates. Um, these bins are from Dollar Tree. And I just put some fun centers in there. These little baskets are from Lakeshore some number mats, the abacus, math books. These are some counters from Target's dollar spot, which they can use freely. And yeah, this is our math center. And last but not least, we have our block center. So I have it also labeled this way they know which to go here and it matches. Um, these bins are from Ikea. I have this here with a little sign, so train that some costumes in here wooden blocks um these like little trees and stuff some extra things that they can use um and i have it right next to our rug area this way they can build on the rug and they have a big play space to do so thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my super quick classroom tour i'm hoping that soon enough i'll be able to do a more in-depth classroom tour show you all the nooks and crannies of my kinder classroom but until then i will see you guys in the next video stay safe and i'll see you guys soon bye